Greetings, Benny has been abducted by cultists, so I'll be taking over the showcase responsibilities for today. Also, this is also why there's no storyline, I missed what it said. Oh, I'll catch the last bit of that when something else is said. <laughs> this is also why there's no real storyline to this one, I'm lazy, what can I say? Okay, fair enough. Anyway, let's get started, we have a few updated modified vanilla vehicles and a couple of new arrivals. Okie dokie. The Feltzer, which is now a bit more racing oriented with liveries by Danny. Ooh. Feltzer racing liveries. Nice. I remember that race cars class video I did. GTA discussion. Episode 7. I said the Feltzer could be one of those Feltzer race cars. Sterling GT. With some liveries. So we're getting, we're getting some uh, Davy and uh, Catalyst and and Danny, uh, getting some liveries to some, to some old cars, which is nice. Volca Zodiac Turbo, based on the legendary Saab 900, this classic provides four wheel dri front wheel drive goodness for a cheap. God damn it! Too much text. Front wheel drive goodness for a cheeky spin around the Swedish countryside, or if you just want to go camping. <laughs> By Boy Wand, Dark, Tepig, and others. The Zodiac Turbo. I bet Turbo Sab's happy about this. That looks pretty cool. I'll have to give that a try. Oh, look at this. I didn't even notice this. I, did, I thought it was a completely different vehicle because it was completely separate. Like, it's so different. <laughs> you can get the proper. Look at this Swedish flag on the side. <laughs> nice. Uh, the Anis Kawai vehicle gained notoriety in the modern community when it was released as a rebadged MX-5 back in 2018. It has since been remade from the ground up as a proper law-friendly mod. The Anis Kawai and MX-5 finally. I wanted an MX-5. Nos will be happy with it. This is like. We, we gotta we gotta race this too. I cleaned up all the rust and murderous bits off the apocalypse impaler, gave it a persistent wheelie bar, and converted it into the impaler drag. Ooh. Oh my god! Look at it go! Look at it go! What is this traffic? Oh no! <laughs> G-Fred's gonna be fun. Oh, oh my god, I've just seen I've just seen all the traffic. <laughs> traffic is nothing but meme vehicles. G-Fred's gonna go great. <laughs> the front wheel drive wheel spin off the line. Alright, where are we going? Alright, I gotta I gotta readjust to 5M lag as well. been a while the mighty zodiac that front wheel drive power <laughs> I'm so excited about the upgrade in quality of everything. Like, it makes me so happy. Now, it's been so long. I've spent so long just upgrading things and, and it's been so long that I haven't, I haven't upgraded anything. I've just been stuck at like 1080p all this time with the same webcam from when I started and all this kind of stuff. I never really thought about it. Now the streams are 1080p, 60, the videos are 4K, like, it just makes me happy that I'm giving better content over and above just what I'm doing. You get to see, you get to see chalks in 4K now, at least for YouTube. <laughs> I don't think the driving will ever get upgraded. I think that's, that's staying. 
that's gonna stay bad all the time. Nothing I can do about that. Not enough money in the world. <laughs> It's a heavy, heavy one, this one. It's fun to drive, though. It's quite unique. It's like a, a heavier Pigali that's got a bit more power and understeer. It's been a long time since I drove the Pigali, to be fair, I can't remember how much power it's got. It used to have pretty good acceleration from what I can remember. In those days of Pigali versus Z-Type at the top of Sports Classics. <laughs> oh, I've done it again. Yeah, the understeer is a killer in this car, on this track, on that corner. <laughs> I mean, I've never done the track before, that's why I'm getting caught out by it, I guess. Do I need to wait for that? Possibly. I'll see if he says something in the chat. The, the, the understeer catches you out on corners like that where it sucks you in and then you just like straight into a straight into a, a wall or pole or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is accurate. That is an accurate sound for what I'm experiencing right now. Just does not want to turn. <laughs> That's the sound. Oh, he's had issues. He's had big issues. We'll have to do a race in the... Uh the Kawaii after this. Give both of the new cars a shot. I imagine they're going to be very different experiences. Yeah, I've never quite got the whole Saab um, thing. Saabs have never really done it for me as a car brand, but there's, there's a lot of people seemingly who, who love Saabs. Evo Saab, for example, but it was a lot of people. I gave you guys the option of whether we did the... Oh, again! <laughs> whether we did the race with the Zodiac or the Kawaii, you know, everybody wanted... up. 95% of you seem to want us to race the Saab first. It's just... It's passed me by, I suppose. I wonder if I'll get that corner right at any point during this race. Five minutes left. I've got a few laps left. I'll consider this race a success if I manage to get that corner done without crashing into the pole and understeering out. <laughs> nice track.
getting nervous. I'm getting nervous for the corner coming up again. Come on. Just be aware that it's understeery. There we go. I left a lot of time on the table, but I made up a lot of time on my previous best of crashing every lap. <laughs> the suspense. Fun car actually to drive. This is this is fun. You can kind of like it is heavy and it is understeery, but you can also throw it into the corners a little bit. Which is quite nice. That was some serious understeer. That was not the line. That's one hell of a wipeout. I'll take those two spots, thank you very much. The controller cam isn't doing anything. Oh, I was not aware of that. <laughs> I'll fix it after the race, hopefully. Sometimes it does something like that and it can't be fixed. It's a pain in the ass sometimes. That's a really cool section of corners to throw this car around. Oh, and then the understeer on that bit. <laughs> One more lap. Can I break the 150 and get anywhere to being four seconds per lap off the pace? Probably not. Definitely not. I was pushing. Since I'd lost the position, I figured I might as well push to try and get it back, but it didn't quite work out, did it? This has been fun. Kawhi next. Two very classic iconic cars I guess to be added finally to Project Homecoming. Long time coming. Close finish.
tenth of a second between those two. Finally behind the wheel of an MX-5 equivalent in, uh, in a GTA game. I never thought I'd see the day. This is very different to the Saab. Feels really good actually. At least it did on that one corner that I just did. <laughs> it's got that nice rear wheel drive sort of balance. Can step out if you're not careful. Chicane's gonna be dicey. We got it. This is a great little car. Pop-up headlights are the best. <laughs> Two very good additions. No doubt about it. And such different cars as well. Certainly doing a lot better in this race. Maybe I should be doing MX-5 racing in real life. <laughs> I think this care boosts on the uh, outside there. What a great little car. This is much fun. Got a massive slowdown off hitting that wall.
and keep Neutron behind for the rest of this race is going to be incredibly difficult. <laughs> if not impossible. <sighs> when you hook up a corner with this car, man, that was so nice. This car's great. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not getting credit for the lap record because I'm not locked at 60 FPS. That's fair enough. I'm surprising myself with how well this is going. There it was. I've been getting more and more confident around that left hander. And I did it too much. You can't, you, can, you really can't do it full speed. This is such a great race. <laughs>
kept Neutron behind me all that time, and as soon as he gets up in a second, he gets up in a first. <laughs> I thought I was doing some good defending. But it didn't take him long once he got past me. That one little mistake. This is going to be the last lap. I nailed that left-hander earlier on in the race, and the last two laps, when I needed it the most, I've really not done it very well. Yeah, the position counter's all wrong, right? I'm in third, not... not uh... Yeah, the position counters <laughs> drunk. <laughs> we don't need the position counter to know where I am in this race, to be fair. I think I hit him in the back from lag. I think I actually had the run on him there. Damn it. Second place was so close. That was such a good race. What a great little car. What a great little race in a great little car. That was so much fun. 